I would not use this really for any other reason except going in and playing. So we're gonna need a piece of our coverall stretch again. And for her leg, I probably could make this a little more narrow here. So we kind of want a piece that looks like this because what we're gonna do is we're gonna support the patellar tendon. So you wanna really know, okay, here's the tuberosity, and then we're gonna cover probably about half of the patella, okay, when we do that. What we're not doing is just putting it right over the knee itself, the knee joint. We're really trying to unload whatever we have here of the tendon that's going into the pole. So that's how it's going to look, okay? So I'll have you straighten out, yep. And then again, if they're going into play, I'm absolutely using spray here because this is one tape that you could potentially not, uh, that was a little crumbly, that you could not um, wrap around, like you might not need a, a light plast wrap. You could, if you spray enough, just do this tape. So again, tuberosity kind of up to about half of the, I would have sprayed first because they're going in and it should look like that. Then we want to go into our unload, which is kind of what we've been, what we did last week. Okay, so. What we're gonna do is we know we wanna unload this, so I just need to be outside that. I usually put my edges, my rough edges, facing in. So this is how this is gonna look. It kinda looks like an H, but on an angle, right? Okay, it's not perfectly side by side. It's not connecting like a V, okay? There's a separation. Because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna unload this. So remember the technique here for unloading. I take a big strip, little slit down the middle, hold one down while I pull one up, I reconnect. Now, what I need to do because you see how we've angled it. The strips are gonna go from small to a little longer to a little longer, okay? So you have to cut that accordingly. Getting longer. So now here we go. We put our one piece down. I hold it down with my thumb. I come to the other side. I lift it up doing like a lumbrical grip. I tug on the leuco tape and I pull it down. Remember when we were in the tibia, we talked about a traction injury, that all the pieces go towards the bone. Mm -hmm. Here, we do not do that. Mm -hmm. This now becomes the original unload. It's a basket weave going from one side to the other side. From one side to the other side. Okay, so now we have like our first three. Here is a slightly longer piece that's coming because what I wanna do now you see how I'm almost pushing her patella up? I'm giving it a little shelf to sit on. I'm gonna kind of come up and almost hug around. Mm -hmm. Okay, you see how I kind of like come around to support it. Okay, I mean the patella tendon now is pretty much unloaded. If I needed to, which I don't think that I do, but I'm gonna show it to you. 
I could take one longer strip. This is going to be a little too long. But you get my point, right? It was longer. And I could then... You see how I kind of came up and around it, okay? That same concept of similar to the kinesio tape. It's like lift and then up and around, okay? I feel like what I had before was good, but this is good too. Because I feel like now you can kind of see her patella is sitting nice and high like that and support it. So we're just going to put our last piece on here. We always re-anchor. <clears throat> now, this is where you could decide how finicky is this athlete? that if you sprayed enough the first time, there should be additional spray still sitting here. You could just cover. But the purpose is you need to get that piece now to the skin, mm -hmm. okay, around it. So I could have even made that like a hair longer this way, but you see how it's catching her on the skin. So I'll assume I sprayed really well that there's spray. Remember, you always wanna spray bigger than your area. You never wanna just be like Ch -ch 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 -ch, right there because of these reasons. So now, just bend your knee. We give her a quick check. She can still move and she's ready to go. If you're putting in question, it's hot, it's humid, the athlete's finicky knee, like you might say, I, it might be better if we just put a little light plus wrap around this. So stand up for me, face me. Now what I wouldn't probably do in her case is come like up around the knee because that's going to feel uncomfortable if i felt that so so if i'm going to light class wrap i'm probably not putting this piece on because that's redundant if i'm going to do a light class wrap it's going to just look like this i'm literally just going to come around like right there almost like those um the chill pad straps that come around the knee right and then i usually will finish on the outside so that i'm not as concerned about these pieces because i know i sprayed really well but if i really make need to make sure the rest of the unload stays on maybe she's playing soccer you know where there's a lot of legs and body parts hitting each other for the ball like this could easily have popped off if somebody or if she slides or something like that so depending on the sport if there's a lot of contact i probably would opt to try to protect it so that it doesn't really weaken or come off throughout now if you're playing if you're working with a team that actually has a half time some of this kind of is you have options because you know you're going to see that player so you could do a retape it's just they don't have very long half times and there's eating and refueling and bathroom and so um so if, and if you were concerned about really about heat humidity the level of sport you could have left this on mm -hmm. and then gone around one more time to just make sure like none of those edges might have a chance to really pop off so while i say it's redundant like maybe that is the better option like that's on and then this is around the tendon but again some athletes are always like no less is less less right they just 
don't want anything impeding them at all to a degree that the system needs to be supported. Okay, so options for, for that one. Good. So now you've seen the 